Absolutely. I mean, I lived with him. So after I quit one on one, I moved into Tony's house. He said, "You can live with me and turn pro for Birdhouse." And I'm like, "Okay." Fun. So yeah. I, I, you know, I, I remember being at Tony's house that time. You know, and, and I didn't, I didn't care about money except for the fact that I just know I, I needed to eat so I could skate. You know, I knew we're always working towards like, yeah, we'll get money, you know, but let's like also create opportunity and skate. But I remember Tony one night, you know, I lived at their house. So I was very intimate with him and his wife and his household and his family. I, I, you know, I was a part of their family and his dad and his mom. And uh, I remember him in the other room and he was having a little bit of a stressful time with his wife, Cindy. And he was talking about how they only had $3,500 in the bank. And I was like, $3,500, man. He's fucking rich. <laughs> At the time, I know. That was, I'd seen that much money. And my mom certainly had never seen that much money. You know, it was like, holy shit, that's $3,500. And, you know, and I also thought Tony was so old at the time as well. And he was only 23. <laughs> oh, right? Because he's Tony Hawk, so you're like, yeah, he's like, he seems like the man, you know? I wouldn't think of age either. (laughs) And the thing is, that's why I always, like, I hearken back to those days where I think about my perspective, where, you know, this is my whole world. Skateboarding is my whole world. I don't care if it's big, small, medium size, whatever. It's the thing that I care about. So the people that are important in that world are important to me and they're more than likely larger than life figures. So Tony Hawk may as well have been as big as Coca-Cola to me. And in my inexperienced mind, they sure as shit probably had the same amount of money. Right. 